killed the teen yesterday after they say the boy pulled out a gun on an officer. CBS 13's Angela Masalam joins us live in Houston where a vigil was being held tonight. Angela? Yeah, Curtis Shrin family and friends have been gathering around town all day. You could take a look behind me. They have set up this shrine mourning the young man's death. They say he was a sweet kid who loved wrestling and football, but got caught up with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Tears overflowing as this grieving family mourns the loss of 15 year old Spencer Carmen Mendez. He was shot and killed by a series police officer Saturday afternoon. I just don't I just don't see it happening. I just don't see him this this happening to him. Numb, George Mendez says his son was a victim of hanging with the wrong crowd. He's a good kid. I mean, he, and I mean, everybody that knew him, they all loved him. The 15-year-old was out with this man, 20-year-old Jose Robles, a bad influence. George Mendez says he's tried steering his son away from. When he comes with his friends, he wants to take off with his friends. You know? And. I don't call those friends. Series police officers recovered several stolen firearms from Robles' car on Saturday, one of which they say was in Mendez's possession. It started here at Smyrna Park in Houston, where series police received a call of a boy in a black Lexus brandishing a firearm. Moments later, police received another call reporting the same Lexus had been involved in a hit and run about a mile away. That's when a chase began, ending at this orchard off Sperry Road, where police say Mendez pulled a gun on an officer. Series police officer fired at the suspect. At this point, uh, it is unknown whether or not the suspect had fired any rounds from his firearm. The Spencer that I know, he was lovable. He was kind. Mendez was like a son to Stephanie Galliana. She didn't know she would lose him exactly one week after he called for help after Galliana's mom was found unresponsive in her home. I didn't get to say goodbye. I didn't get to teach him other things as he's growing into a man. Mendez's death has paralyzed his family, his father taking the biggest hit. I'm thinking about joining him, you know. But I don't, you know, I got family and all that stuff. It's just, for him to go by himself, no. Now, an autopsy will be performed on the young man sometime this week. Series police aren't yet identifying the officer who shot the boy. You can understandably imagine how numb and shocked the family feels tonight. All right, Andrew Basalam, live in Stanislaus County. Thank you.